ever looked at aircraft carriers from around the world and noticed a curious difference? Carriers from nations like the UK or China often feature a distinct upward curve at the end of the flight deck, a feature known as a ski jump. Yet, if you look at a massive US Navy supercarrier, you'll see a completely flat top. Why does the world's most powerful Navy opt out of the ski jump? The answer boils down to one simple concept. Instead of a passive ramp, US carriers are built around a system called CATABAR, which stands for Catapult Assisted Takeoff But Arrested Recovery. These catapults, historically steam-powered and now electromagnetic on the newest Ford-class carriers, hurl a fully loaded aircraft from 0 to over 165 miles per hour in about 2 seconds. This brutal acceleration is the key to understanding American carrier design. So, why is that violent, catapult-assisted shove so crucial? It's all about takeoff weight. A ski jump relies entirely on the aircraft's own engine thrust to get airborne, which means the plane must be relatively light. This often forces a difficult trade-off. To get off the deck, the aircraft may have to carry less fuel or a lighter weapon load, limiting its range and combat effectiveness. A catapult launch completely obliterates this limitation. It allows jets like the FA-18 Super Hornet and F-35C to launch at their maximum possible weight. This directly translates to longer mission ranges, more time spent over a target area, and the ability to carry a full arsenal of bombs and missiles. More importantly, catapults allow US carriers to launch heavy, slower, accelerating support aircraft that are vital to the fleet's operation. These are planes that simply could not get airborne from a ski jump. We're talking about the E-2 Hawkeye, the carrier's airborne eyes and ears, and the C-2 Greyhound, which ferries supplies and personnel. This doesn't mean ski jumps are a bad design. They are a brilliant. A ski jump is mechanically simple, cheaper to build, and requires far less maintenance and personnel than a complex catapult system. For many countries, it's a perfectly logical choice. Instead, carriers using ski jumps cannot use aircraft that are heavy and cannot use aircraft that don't use Vestol, 